Well, it's time for another BTS vlog, beginning of the day. Uh, yeah, you know it's uh, it's around 6.30 in the evening, or eight, 18 hours and uh, 23 minutes into the day. Yeah, the day is just starting for myself. Uh, I got the uh, resolution, the, the quality of the video uh, to the right quality that I wanted at, so it, 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 it looks good on a uh, full screen, if you do full screen. It looks good uh, as compared to the first test, so the second test went better. Um, got it to a reasonable size in terms of the upload. Still needs some tweaking on it, but we're going. We're at where we sort of, sort of where we want to be. So the next thing now is uh, to continue on with the uh, rest of the schedule, uh, the regular schedule. Uh, we sort of detoured as we uh, sort of did the surprise upgrade. What happens is, is you don't know what's going to happen, but all, all my stuff comes refurbished. So the first test was, the first thing was is that uh, I got a new uh, holder for the uh, for my smart pad, the Android pad. Uh, so I could hold it better while recording videos because it was, my hands were shaking as I was recording. You know, you had to hold the, you had to hold the Android out far like that. And uh, my hands, after a few minutes, will start to shake, and that's the shaking you saw in in the in the video. So what I did is I found a, uh, a, a device that uh, attaches to the Android that gives you like a tripod type of thing, and that's how I steadied the camera the, the camera on the uh, on the uh, smart pad. Uh, just as I found that and started working with it. Uh, I got an email from one of the uh, uh, places that I go and buy refurbished equipment from, and they had uh, this camera, uh, 720p on sale, uh, for like 40 bucks. And 40 bucks for a 720p camera, that's Nikon. Cool, you know, it's a cool Pix camera. You can't go wrong. I mean, I have one of these. Uh, I just recently got one of these. Uh, if you heard me talking about, we're upgrading. Uh, I got a good studio camera now. It's also Nikon, uh, and it's it's got the large format lens. The, you know, the 35 millimeter format uh, uh, lens, the DSLR type lens. Uh, but I want to keep that in studio. I didn't want to really bring it around with me. So, so the problem was I didn't really have anything to record in 720p, except for this tiny little, this device here. And it did a good job. It did. This device here does actually a good job. It's a cheap $19 Sylvania uh, 720p camera. It does a good job when you're doing long distance. But if you're doing close up, if you're going to do like a, a vlog like this, it doesn't do a good job because it's too close in. If you notice, if you look at the lens here, you're going you're to see if there's no real lens here, and there's no real lens here, there's just a pinhole. If you take a flashlight take a, and shine it in here, see what's there. It's just a tiny little pinhole. These are pinhole cameras, or they're basically the same type of camera you would get on a web camera if it's part of your laptop or part of the uh, of the uh, tablet. This is the same type of thing. It's basically a web camera in here uh, attached to a, a regular camera body. And I said, it does a good job when you're doing far away if you're, if you're further out uh, at a distance, but it doesn't do a good job close up. So, uh, couldn't do 720p. This came on the market. This came out. We got the email uh, that this was $40. This new camera was $40. And, you know, hey, chance to move up. But the thing is, is that uh, when you do 720p, uh, I know from the videos here, you got large files, so I didn't really know exactly how this was going to work on the Android because I want to do everything on the Android here. This is so, this this is not going to the Linux and being edited on the Linux desktop. This is going right to the Android. It's being converted on the Android from AVI to MP4, uh, and I needed to do a couple workarounds. Uh, and that's the way it usually works: is that nothing ever works as is. Uh, when you're doing refurbished or you're doing uh, stuff like this, or, 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 or it, it, we, we're doing what we'll call hacks, uh, you always have to work on workarounds. And I got enough workarounds, so this actually works. It actually does a good job. And this is what you're seeing here. So now back to the regular schedule, sort of. Uh, we've got another two weeks before I head off to a uh, uh, research expedition. It's a two-week research expedition. I won't be back until about sometime after August 6th, so um, that's sort of the way that goes. I won't be vlogging during, I won't be vlogging in terms of posting. I will be vlogging on the research expedition. 
but because there's no Wi-Fi, there's no uh, radio reception at all uh, in terms of the, the, the uh, Wi-Fi phone or anything like that, uh, there's no way to post this, there's no way to upload this. So everything is gonna when I come back, everything will be uploaded as I when I come back. So you'll see everything, the BTS logs, all that stuff. While I was away on my research expedition, you'll see it afterwards, after August 6th. And that's when uh, all the shows that are now on hiatus because we are going away will be coming back and you'll be start seeing more and more content coming out uh, after uh, August 6th. August 6th is when we really start ramping up the production and getting the content out there. Anyways, that's it for today. That's it for, t no, for now. And I will see you later. Yeah, I'm going to be doing video comments later on today. So look for those. And uh, hey, see you around on YouTube. Bye-bye.